Hi YouTubers, it's George, I'm in the garage just doing some bits and pieces and the cavity filters are finished and my magnetic loop aerial I built ages ago I've been listening on that but there's nothing much happening on the bands I've got my 10 element Yagi sitting over here in my wood lathe and uh, been asked to look at the possibility of making a cavity filter for the two meter VHF band the only problem with that is I've got no material but I did make a while back a bandpass filter for the two meter band which is this thing sitting here and why I've been asked to look at making filters for the two meter band is one of the colleagues or a member I know of one of the clubs is suffering with interference and um, a bandpass filter is only okay if the interference is outside of the bandpass if it's within the two meter band then you need a notch filter so that's what I'm thinking of making but to make a notch filter you really need a cavity to do it efficiently to be very narrow and I haven't got materials as I said earlier so I'm going to do a little bit of investigation into helical filters and refresh my memory of this one I made to see whether it's possible to adapt this principle of making a notch filter for the VHF band so that's what we're going to do today. I'll see if I can build one. And the only thing I've got available is say, enamel wire and some single sided copper clad board. I've got no metal, I've used all my scrap metal up and one thing or another. So that's my little project. Well, it's been raining on and off, difficult to do any jobs. And uh, I've been listening on the 2 meter calling frequency and also the local repeater anybody is on nobody's on um, working on the this cavity filter sorry helical filter here single coil variable capacitor and um, you know it's 30 DB down well it's actually 32 db down on the unwanted signal which I'm quite pleased about it's made from printed circuit board single sided copper on the inside all the corners soldered and sides together a variable piston tuning capacitor there the trouble is if I put anything metal near it it affects the frequency and um, I'm this is um, log max looking at um, loss and also check the SWR and the um, outside of the filter notch it's 3 dB down which is what's expected so that's a success I'm quite pleased with that and uh, yeah so thanks for watching and um, please subscribe and like